elsewhere. <laughs> Would you like to learn that? It's not that hard. As a matter of fact, that was probably the first um, kind of piece where classical piece or, or finger picking piece that I learned when I was first learning guitar that wasn't just one note at a time. Okay, it was it's one note at a time, but it's combining two fingers that you're playing with your right hand. So instead of playing which is the first part you learn, right? Then you're adding in an extra note. So it's really simple because you're only adding this one note that repeats itself over and over and over and you're playing the melody with your thumb on your right hand. Okay, so I'm going to show you this right now and this is a really fun, good exercise to learn. So let me just show you the melody notes that you're going to be playing with your thumb and that is, let's see here. Okay, those notes are second fret of your D string with your second finger, third fret of your D string with your third finger, open D string, second fret D string, third fret A string, open A string. Okay, got that? It's second fret D string, third fret D string, open D string, 2nd fret D string, 3rd fret A string, sorry, open A string. So your fingering is 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 3rd finger, open, 2nd finger, 3rd finger on the A string, 3rd fret, and then open. So just do that line with me real quick, slowly. Not real quick, slowly. Ready? Two, three, four. Okay, and that line repeats. All right, so let me show you that line that I just taught. And basically, you're playing all the melody with your thumb. So your thumb is going to be playing the D string and the A string. So when you're finger picking, you know, you want to use the pad of your thumb and kind of pluck the downward motion towards your towards your lower strings. See how I even rest my thumb on the string underneath it, under underneath the D string? But when, you know, that's fine if you want to do that. But when you start adding other fingers in, you want to kind of keep your thumb curled really curled but you don't want it laying down like this because you've got it you've got to keep your hand up so you can get these other fingers working hmm? you want it ready to go. yeah exactly you want to get your fingers ready so they can't be laying down here because they got to be up here ready to go so for this particular piece the other finger I'm going to be using is my middle finger I'm going to be alternating between my thumb and my middle finger so my middle finger is playing the high E string and it's open string, so you don't have to worry about pressing down with your left hand, okay? That string just rings out. So, like I said, you play the melody with your thumb. Where's my D string? And then we're going to throw that note into the mix. So it goes like this. Play your first note with your thumb, and then follow it up with the E string. Then your next note. Then E string. So the E string follows every note. Okay, every note you play with your thumb, you do it, you follow it with your middle finger. So it's like rocking back and forth with your right hand. Dun, 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 dun. So let's do it really slow, just that part I just taught you. right so let's so for this piece it does it it does that part three times the third 
time is where it changes. So let me teach you that change, and then we'll come back and look at the right hand again. So this is, this is the second part, the melody line. Okay, let's do it one more time with our thumb only, just the melody line. add in our pinky finger I mean our, our now let's add in our E string into that so it's just the same as we did before you know where you do you follow every note that you do with your thumb you follow it up with the high E string so we'll just do it together really slow So just repeat those patterns, okay, and practice them. Practice, you know, just the melody alone. Just build it up to speed. Over and over. Once you get it up to speed, add in that other part. Slowly. And then get it faster and faster. you can end that little piece but that's a really fun little exercise to learn and it sounds impressive and it's really not that hard so go ahead and have fun with that and check out our instructional dvds at next level guitar click on the link we've got specials right now two hour dvds for only nine dollars mm -hmm.